In this tutorial we'll be creating this glowing text reveal. Now pay attention to the detail on this text, it is not just a linear wipe, we've actually got the variable font effect here, so we've got a thicker version of the font transitioning to a lighter version and there's glowing and blur going over it. So let's get started. I'll create a new text layer and we'll call this glow. Let me hit Ctrl Alt Home and Ctrl Home to center my anchor point onto my text and the text to the composition. Now I've got this on a light font here. Let me duplicate this layer and select a bold version. I will lower the opacity of the bold version and I just wanna place the light version sort of similar. So I'll expand the distance between the letters here and just move this slightly so it's not offset it too much. And this is good enough. Now let's select the text layer, right click, create and create shapes from text, not masks, shapes, and do this for both text layers. So we can get rid of the text layers and we've got the text layers as shapes now. So this would be our light version and this would be the thicker one, so I'll name this big. And here's a cool trick I learned from a different tutorial. So if I expand these, I can actually select them and then search for path and it basically reveals all the path of the text layers so we don't have to go one by one and now by just clicking this and scrolling down here I've created keyframes for all my shapes. So let's drag this to the beginning of our comp and we want to go from the big path to the light one. So I'll hit U to bring up the keyframes and we'll copy these ones and sadly you cannot just select the layer and paste it because it creates new groups but what you want to do is select the first path here and then hold down shift and select each one and then paste it. So let's get rid of the light version here. And now if we play this back, you can see we're getting the transition from a thicker font to a lighter version. Now here I don't have any artifacts, but let me actually show you something that might happen to you. For example, here you can see I've got this sort of distortion happening doing the same exact thing. So a quick fix here would be to select the pen tool and I'll go to this vertex here, right click it, masks and shape path and set it as my first vertex. So that's the quick easy fix for it in case you're facing this issue. Let's get back to the main composition here and we can select the keyframes, hit F9 and I'll actually make this a bit slower here and I'll offset each letter here by a few frames just like that. I can also select all my keyframes, hold down Alt and drag this along here so we expand the distance between each keyframe and maybe move this a bit here as well. So this is our shape animation and now let's move on to the actual reveal and effects. So I'll create a new solid, we'll call this matte and we'll make it black, make sure it's black here. Okay, and I'll make a quick mask here, so just like that. And I'll hit M to bring up the mask path. Let's go to about four seconds here. Double click it and we'll just drag it from left to right, about here. Hit F to bring up the feather and let's set it to something like 150. So we've got the basic mask reveal. Now we are on a black background, but I'm still gonna set it as a matte and invert it. So it is actually revealed by the matte layer. Now I do want to time the text animation to sort of reveal with the matte. This seems to work fine. I might actually delay it just a bit more here. So I'll drag these keyframes over here. And just so we actually see some more of the variable font animation here. Let's create a new background. So we'll make it black and drag this below here. I'll create a new adjustment layer and this would be our blur and I'll go to the first frame here and copy the mask we created on our matte layer and paste it onto this adjustment layer and I'll add a Gaussian blur to this layer let's set it to maybe 20 and we can actually delay the keyframes here to start a bit after the mask is revealed so this is what we've got and I'll duplicate this adjustment layer one more time and we'll call this glow. And here you can drop your favorite glow. I'll be using deep glow, obviously. And this is how we reveal this text, basically. 
Now I might feather this out a bit more on my glow layer, so maybe set this to 250. And we'll play around with some of the settings here and enable chromatic aberration as well. So we've got this nice chromatic look here. And we can go into the shape layer here and select a color for our text. So let's say we make this green. And this is how you can create this cool glowing text reveal animation. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.